Zim is one of the most efficient shipping companies in the world, proudly serving more than 30,000 satisfied customers in 300 ports of call around the world. I can tell you that Zim is under potential attack every day. What began as any other week turned into a crisis for Zim International Shipping and Logistics Company. We saw that throughout the years, almost each year another shipping company was attacked. That's why Zim just held its annual cyber drill. Company systems were down and operations plunged into chaos. This is the fourth day that the company is under a severe cyber attack. We have our war room in the IT. We get all the problems and we'll fix it based on the problem that we'll get. An intense all-day event where employees work through multiple realistic rip from the headlines. Crisis scenario. All DG booking has been stopped and all DG loading has been stopped according to the global operation. We have advised our customers of the uh, current situation. We sent a dedicated message and of course a personal notification to the customers that their cargo was impacted from the situation. Employees were unable to access files and soon realized documents had been encrypted. All the sales managers were instructed to move to manual rotation mode exactly according to the cyber uh, procedure. This cyber drill involves dozens of team members, not just here in Haifa, but around the world. Because the risk is always evolving, company officials live by a simple motto, practice, practice, practice. We are working on the agent uh, under this floor, we are trying to maintain business continuity. We are uh, practicing realistic transparency as much as possible as a public company, and that's why we're in close touch with the legal department. How to work under stress, how to communicate between different parties in the company. That all communication be made in a coordinated manner as to avoid inconsistent or incoherent messages to the market. Threats from cyber attacks are growing, the risk constantly evolving. The nature of the attack looks like Iranian organization named Mercury. We need to make sure that we are monitoring those containers one by one in light of the fact that we know who is standing behind this attack. The purpose of a drill like this is to help us to recover very fast from a cyber event. During the drill, team leaders ran through exercises involving breaches to customer data. The overall impact of this incident could be between 100 and 125 million dollars. The most important part, business continuity. Every part of this organization will do at most to deliver and to keep doing our business. We have procedures for each unit and each country on how to ensure the business continuity during a cyber attack. And Zim executives say there needs to be constant communication and real-time data analysis with offices around the world. We are a global company and we have to make sure that our employees are well synchronized. Everybody knows to shift to alternative processes and tools in order to make sure that we minimize our financial losses in such severe attacks. Managers are now studying the results of this drill and already preparing for the next one, confident that no matter what happens, Zim will stay afloat. We are rely on our professionalism and our people and we are sure that together we are going to make it.